Grabs Racing. So, y'all probably heard me talk about being able to change the tune according to the track. And uh, being able to do that quickly. I want to be able to change the tune right at the last minute. Like, the pair before me goes and Brooks comes and says, Hey, the track has gone away. We need to turn it down a little bit. I want to be able to pop in a quick... Uh, timed retard after launch if y'all don't know about that y'all can check out the other video I got a mega square video on timed retard after launch and basically what that lets me do is cut power with timing and ramp it back in so if Brooks comes and says yo the track's gone away we need to cut it back we can put a bigger um, timing cut in there and I want to be able to do that up just to the last second right before the burnout be able to punch in uh, somewhere easily just click a couple of clicks and be able to throw my timing down. You can do it with a laptop over the passenger seat. That's cool. Uh, having to lug a, a laptop around is bunk. I don't want to have to deal with it. Uh, I'd rather just be able to click a button or just some kind of thing that's already in the car. I don't have to add anything to it or anything. Uh, and another thing I've been wanting to get around is the dash. The race pack dashes for our Mega Squirt. I don't remember if I paid five or seven hundred dollars for just a dash, and then it's a three hundred dollar connector to get it to the CAN bus to read over it. It's too much for a dash. It's just it's a bit ridiculous. So I want to get away from that as well. I need to find a new solution to uh, to replace that for cars. You know, we want to do. We don't have big big budgets for this stuff. We're out here just doing what we can. Uh, so if we can get more features for a better price, that's something I'm for. So let me show you my race pack dash and how it works now. Some power on here. And let's see. Let me show you the race pack. Uh, it's there. And it works good. Really, the only time I look at the race pack is... Uh, Right before I, I pull into the burnout box, I, you know, I want my car about 170 degrees and uh, methanol will cool down real fast. It'll be 140, so sometimes I'll let it warm up. And just a quick oil pressure check is about all I really get into this dash for. Uh, I have an auto shift, some solenoids, so uh, it's a nice dash. It's just not very... Uh, not very bang for your buck, in my opinion. Uh, you know, it's just got a couple of things there. And my car, uh, I'm not really worried about the air fuel. I got it dialed in pretty well. It's not like I'm looking at that when I'm going down the track anyways. Uh, speedometer stuff, yeah, it's all cool. If you're cruising, that's handy to have, but it's not like the end of the world if you don't have it. So, anyhow... Something better would be be nicer, something cheaper, and something maybe with more features that would let me uh, change my tune up on the fly. So over here, I got a Mega Squirt, just a two X wired up to the gym stem with some power going to it. Uh, we got another one here for this uh, this little motor here that I'm working on. Let's zoom out. There we go. Uh, and so we got online and found these little LCDs with the touchscreen, seven inches, for like 40 bucks. And then we have a ton of these little Raspberry Pis laying around here. And uh, so what we did was we wired this up. Uh, it's not a Mega Squirt 3 daughter card. It's just a basic uh, two with a serial. And so it's got this cable here. But this thing could easily replace my race pack dash uh, see. and give me the same amount of information before I make my run and air fuel and whatever is pretty plain and easy to read and uh, I mean I'm into this whole setup for well under a hundred dollars uh, one thing that we haven't really I just got it working the other day. It's a little slow boot time right now. It takes about a minute and eight seconds to boot up from scratch. So I haven't really went into the operating system of the Pi and tried to cut out any of, any of the boot stuff so that hopefully I can get this thing 
a 30 second boot up would be nice but uh, what you can do with it since it's a touch screen and I'm hoping like they got these little buttons here and I'm not sure what it does I think it turns on logger maybe let's see well this doesn't have logger so it may not work but I think they I've seen people with buttons they can turn on loggers so what I would like to have is uh this doesn't have it but if I can click in here and, and quickly load up a a different timed retard after launch menu. Let me see. Maybe I can do it with this finger a little better. Well, looks like we've jammed it up here, but that's that's what I'm hoping to do is be able to just click in here a couple of times and load up a timed retard after launch. Or if we could have it here, you know, this button here, uh, where I just click it one time and we, we put in the A tune and the B tune right there on the screen. I think that would be pretty cool. Anyhow, that's what I'm going to try and do. And, uh, you know, our last race here is coming up. It's uh, Redemption 9.0 at Evadale. And uh, today is Friday. So we've got seven days before that race. The car is pretty much ready to go. Uh, what did I do to it? Uh, the belt problem, we put on a new belt tensioner there, a manual one. I'm going to probably play around with revving it up here tomorrow and make sure that that's all good. i uh, still got some stuff to do on the limiters, which I really don't think we're going to need there, but I'll probably try and get them in anyway tomorrow, and I'll make a video on that. It's just some Home Depot stuff that I've gathered up to make these limiters with. And if I can get those done, I may go ahead and try and load this dash in, pull my race pack out, and... Uh, and put this dash in and see, you know, is it going to hold up? Is it going to take the launch? Is it going to walk up like it just did? Is it going to work out or not? And uh, just start tweaking on it. Anyhow, like and subscribe and check back. And uh, hopefully we'll have some results for this dash. Get it mounted in and everything uh, maybe this weekend. And it would be awesome to use it at Redemption for power changing and, and logging. But I just don't know if I'll have enough time between there. Anyhow, like and subscribe. Check back later.